Welcome, curious minds, to a journey that begins with a single question. Are we truly alone in the universe? For centuries, humanity has gazed at the stars searching for answers. But what if those answers came to us in an unexpected way, hidden in plain sight, buried beneath the red sands of Mars? Today, we unravel the story of Dr. Leon Park, a scientist whose life took a turn after receiving a mysterious USB stick containing footage that defied explanation. What he discovered next would challenge everything he thought he knew about reality. So settle in, because this is a tale of mystery, discovery, and the unknown. A story you won't want to miss. Let's dive in. For a long time, mankind has been studying space and searching for extraterrestrial life. No concrete evidence of this has ever been found until Dr. Leon Park received a suspicious USB stick which would show a bizarre discovery on Mars. No one believed their eyes after seeing the video footage and the research team immediately sent a team to Mars in order to investigate further. Once they arrived on Mars, the team set out and came to the most bizarre discovery of all time. When the team arrived at Mars, the entire already saw the building, although Leon doubted the truthfulness of the footage, he was pleased that the building was real. Leon was thrilled to go forward and enter the building, which would result in his most extraordinary discovery ever. Leon didn't want to wait and wanted to enter the building as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste here, he said. However, the team did not agree with him because the protocol required them to check and set certain things first. Leon didn't care about this and decided to go on his own. Leon entered the building and was immediately met by a big hallway. The fact that the lights were still on puzzled him. Did this imply that something was present? Leon had no idea, but he didn't let that stop him from continuing his journey. He was walking down the hall when he suddenly heard a loud noise. Leon got into this strange room after following the loud noise, and it appeared that something was locked inside it. Leon immediately turned pale and appeared completely shocked when he looked at what was inside it, but what did Leon see? What kind of thing was locked in there? Who locked that thing up, and will Leon ever be able to return back to Earth? But before we start our story, smash the like button, make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you won't miss any new stories. Dr. Leon Park was a renowned scientist who dedicated his life to studying Mars. He had been part of several missions about the Red Planet and had made many groundbreaking discoveries, but what he was about to discover blew his mind. This was something he had never seen before. One day, he got a big envelope in the mail. There was no information about who had sent it to him, and his address wasn't on it either, so it had to be hand-delivered. Leon was very confused about this and wondered what could be inside the envelope, and when he opened it, only more questions jumped into his mind. In the envelope, he found a USB stick, no note, no piece of paper with instructions, or an explanation, only a USB stick. Lion looked at the stick but doubted whether he should look at what it contained. There could be anything on this stick, some random photos or a big virus that could destroy all his research. Finally, he decided to leave it alone for now, so he, he put it on his desk and went back to his research. He tried to concentrate on the work before him, but found his eyes drawn back to the USB stick. Not knowing what was on that stick wasn't an option anymore. He had to know. Lon hesitantly picked up the stick and plugged it into his computer. He closed his eyes and hoped for the best, but when he heard a strange noise, he opened one of his eyes. That is weird, he thought. It looks just like the footage we collect from our Mars rover. He now looked at the footage with amazement and couldn't understand who had sent him this. It was definitely Mars. He recognized that red Martian soil from his recent missions, but there was something off about the footage. In the distance, he noticed something almost entirely buried under the surface. Dr. Park zoomed in and squinted his eyes. Did. He see that correctly? It can't be, can it? He was utterly confused by the footage. Was someone pranking him? He looked around him, but he was alone. If this footage was real, it could be a discovery of a lifetime. He quickly closed his tabs and put the stick in his jacket pocket. 
He went home immediately to be sure no one else would see what he had discovered. This could cause quite a stir if more people found out, but he knew he couldn't solve this mystery on his own. Dr. Leon Park had some friends in the field he wanted to show the footage, but they were all the way in Alaska for research, and this information was too delicate to send via postal mail. So there was only one thing left he could do. He had to take matters into his own hands. Dr. Park was determined to discover the truth. He canceled his appointments for the next week and packed his bags. He hopped on the first plane to Alaska and spent the whole flight imagining how his friends would react. He held the envelope with the USB stick on him the whole duration of his travels, but there was one one thing he didn't consider. Leon got tapped on his shoulder when the plane was already descending into Alaska. It was a young man wearing a cap with an astronaut on it. He sat behind him the whole flight, but only now got the courage to ask Leon something. Are you Dr. Leon Park? He asked him. Yes, that is me, Leon said proudly. A smile appeared on his face. Where are you headed? To the young man asked. That is confidential, Leon answered, and his smile faded off his face. No one could know what he was doing here, not even a regular citizen. The young man sat back in his seat and sighed disappointedly, but Leon didn't care. He didn't come here to make friends. He didn't even know who this young man was. He could be a journalist trying to reveal his secret work. A sudden feeling of paranoia came over Dr. Park when he finally reached his friend's research facility. He knocked on the door, but no one answered. Strange, he thought. He slightly pushed against the door, and to his surprise, it opened. Lon hesitantly stepped inside and called for his friends. Lon slowly walked the deserted hallways of the research facility. Some lights were off, and others flickered in the dark. It looked like there hadn't been anyone in here in a while, and he wondered why his friends had never informed him about moving away. This was very out of character. He recognized one of his friend's desks. Papers were scattered around it, and the computer had a thick layer of dust. But then he noticed something strange in the trash can. There was an envelope in the trash that looked almost identical to the envelope he had received. It even had the same handwriting. How could this be? He said quietly. The paranoid feeling from before came back times two, and Leon hurried out of the building, but not before he grabbed the envelope and put it in his bag. He rushed to his hotel and tried to call his friends on their cell phones, but no one answered. There he was on his own in Alaska with the USB stick that started it all. He knew their disappearance had something to do with the stick, but what? He decided to go back to the building and look at the security footage. But when he got back, he was greeted by someone familiar. The young man with the astronaut cap stood in front of the building, leaning against the door. It almost looked like he was expecting Leon. Leon looked confused at the man and asked him what he was doing there. It was the private property of his friend, so he wasn't even allowed on the premises. Where is everyone, Doctor Park? The man asked, sporting a slight smile. Leon walked straight past the man and into the building. He locked the door behind him so the man couldn't get inside. He gave him the creeps that young man, but at least Leon was was now certain he had something to do with all of this. The security footage showed Leon what he had been fearing. His friend had gotten the same footage, but they reacted differently than Lon did. They immediately believed the footage was real and celebrated with each other. Then they all packed their stuff and left the building, and they haven't returned since. Doctor Leon Park eventually found out the footage was fake, and it all had been a nasty prank. The young man with the cap had nothing to do with it, though. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Lon never found out who had hacked their footage and added the foreign object, but he knew he would never believe anything like it again.